Hey everybody, welcome to This Week at WSU here on Warrior Daily. I'm Tom Gorman and today is Wednesday, October 10th, 2012. We're about a week and a half away from homecoming, which would be a busy time certainly here on the athletic campus. But for now, pretty much all the action is on the road. The volleyball team heads to the Gliac GLVC crossover. Men's golf will play for a conference title this weekend. And the football team has a huge matchup with Saginaw Valley State on Thursday night on national TV. Two ranked teams will square off Thursday night at 8 o'clock. Number 18, Wayne State, against number 17, Saginaw Valley State. The Warriors come in 4-1 overall, having won their fourth straight game 24-21 over Hillsdale last Saturday at Adams Field. Saginaw Valley State is 5-1 overall. The Cardinals picked up a victory at Northwood 28-20 for their third straight win. Critical game for both teams. These two teams were in the NCAA playoffs a year ago and hope to get back there here in 2012. Again, 8 o'clock kickoff from University Center. CBS Sports Network will carry the game nationally. Look up your local listings to find that channel. We'll also have that for you on Newstalk 1400 WDTK. The Patriots, Sean Belegian, Joe Goff, and Lisa Seymour will have the call pregame starting at 7.30 on the Patriot. You can also hear that live via the web WDTKAM.com. We'll have links to live stats for you at WSUAthletics.com and we'll have updates on Twitter. For more on this game, you can listen to Winters on Wednesdays at 7 o'clock tonight. Rod Beard and head coach Paul Winters will discuss not only last week's win against the Chargers, but this upcoming Thursday night matchup with the Cardinals. Again, Winters on Wednesdays, 7 o'clock tonight on 1400 The Patriot. We'll also have Coach Winters here on Warrior Daily tomorrow. Also fans, don't forget about homecoming next weekend on Saturday at noon, next Saturday that is, the Warriors will take on Northern Michigan a noon kickoff at Adams Field. The men's golf team will compete in the GLIAC Championship starting Sunday at Elyria Country Club in Elyria, Ohio. The Warriors coming off of three straight tournament victories off to a tremendous start to the 2012-13 season. Mike Horn, the head coach for the men's golf program here at Wayne State, joined me yesterday on Warrior Daily to tell us all about that. The volleyball team will compete in the fifth annual GLIAC GLVC crossover in Aurora, Illinois, University of Missouri, St. Louis, Southern Indiana on Friday, and number nine Indianapolis Greyhounds on Saturday. Warriors come in 12 and five overall this season. Wayne State will return home next weekend as part of homecoming to take on Grand Valley State on Friday night and Ferris State next Saturday. Women's tennis rolled through the competition at home last weekend. Wins over Lake Superior State, Saginaw Valley State, and Michigan Tech. The Warriors will face a couple of GLIAC newcomers in Malone on Friday and Walsh on Saturday. Wayne State will also play at Lake Erie on Sunday. The Warriors are 10-1 overall and riding a nine-match winning streak. Some other teams in action, men's tennis will face the University of Detroit Mercy and Case Western Reserve this weekend as the Warriors continue fall play. And cross country will compete at the Raider Run in Farmington Hills on Saturday. It'll be the last competition for the Warriors before the GLIAC Championships in Midland next week. Congratulations to the swimming and diving team, not only hosting a successful alumni meet last Friday, but the Warriors received their championship rings on Saturday. The men's team, of course, winning the GLIAC championship. The women's team, not only with a conference title, but a national championship last year. Some of the special guests on hand for that event, Peter Vanderkay, an Olympian and a local athlete, as well as Wayne State University President Alan Gilmore. The Wayne State swimming and diving teams will begin competition during the 2012-13 season later this month. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will wrap up this edition of This Week at WSU. And on a personal note, as this is my final edition of Warrior Daily as I'm getting ready to leave Wayne State University. I would like to take a second and thank all of my colleagues here at the university, all of our coaches, our student athletes, and so many of you fans for supporting Wayne State Athletics. It's been a tremendous seven years and I'll be a warrior for life. Thanks for watching Warrior Daily. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel.